sprinklers inside the building. The flames were confined to the immediate area, but the surrounding floors had water and smoke damage. Luckily, no one was hurt. Well, he is known to many South Floridians as a successful TV ad pitchman, but Joey Carr had another job. For 15 years, he was the companion of a wealthy widow, 30 years his senior. Now he's suing her estate. CBS 4's Ileana Varela is here to tell us why. Ileana. Well, Joey Carr says millionaire Polly de Hirschmeyer promised him millions in exchange for his company. But he never saw the money, so he's going to court to try to get it. Now you can buy factory direct. Over the years, Joey Carr has sold us everything from patio furniture to Chinese food. Now he's facing what could be his toughest sell. Carr is suing the estate of millionaire philanthropist Polly de Hirsch Meyer for breach of contract. She promised me $6 million to stay with her the rest of her life. Carr says he kept his end of the deal, escorting the wealthy widow for 15 years. They went dancing, they went to restaurants, and countless social functions. At her request, Carr says he even gave up his advertising business. But the years passed, and he never saw the money. She kept putting me off and saying, well, let's wait, whatever. Anyway. Let's wait till uh, she kept telling my friends, uh, don't worry, I'll take care of her. So why didn't he leave? I stayed with her because she needed me, and we made a deal. It was a business arrangement. Unfortunately for Carr, the deal wasn't in writing, and when the Hirschmeyer died last year at the age of 97, she left nothing to her longtime companion. So Carr is going to court for his money, and he's hired a top-notch New York divorce lawyer, the same guy who got millions for Ivana Trump and represented Liz Taylor's last husband and boxer Mike Tyson's ex. Well, he certainly has a good lawyer, and speaking of lawyers, we call the attorney for the Hirschmeyer estate. He has no comment on the case. We'll be sure and let you know how it all turns out. Ileana Borella, CBS 4 News. Thanks, Ileana. Miami-Dade voters will head to the polls tomorrow to decide whether to add a penny to the sales tax and scrap the toll booths on four county expressways. It's the focus of tonight's sound off. Already thousands of voters have been casting their absent... They had an understanding that being a lifetime companion would translate into big bucks. There was one problem, though. He had nothing down on paper. You saw me standing alone. Theirs was an arrangement out of the pages of Without some high society magazine. A lonely, wealthy, widowed philanthropist in search of a younger companion. Aluminum furniture factory outlet. Enter commercial pitchman Joey Carr. I met her in 1983 at the Club Top Draw. I was introduced to her. It wasn't long before socialite Polly Lux de Hirschmeyer thrust Carr into a world of high rollers and super celebs. He was 53 when they met. I was her steady Saturday night date and two days a week at the racetrack, and she had affairs maybe three, four nights a week. He means parties, of course, appearances. And despite their 30-year age difference, Carr stayed with his sugar mama for 15 years, playing the part of the perfect couple. She liked to have her friends think it was a love affair because I was a younger guy, 30 years younger. And she liked to make her friends think that we were lovers, but we were never lovers now. It was a business arrangement and she loved it. And she promised me six to seven million dollars after the second year. So now you can buy factory. That's when Carr decided to give up his advertising career and devote himself to a life of hobnobbing. To him, it was a full-time job. I took care of her. The last few years she was in a wheelchair. I fed her. When she couldn't go out, I brought food to her. And I was her whole life. And she was part of my life. You know? But when de Hirschmeyer finally died last year, at the age of 97, she left Carr nothing. No millions, no property, not even a mention in her will. Just a broken heart and no pension for his 15 years as an escort. She said, don't worry about it, I'll take care of you. She said, I, ha I have more money than I can spend a whole lifetime, two lifetimes. Hello, everyone. I'm the star talk. With only one commercial on the air and his hopes of a posh retirement long gone, Carr has decided to take to Hirschmeyer's estate to court. And he's hired a hotshot New York divorce lawyer to do it, Raul Felder. Of course. Love the life. <laughs> Who's, what's not to love? I had three tuxedos. I went out every other night with her, and every woman was envious of her. 
And in his lawsuit, Carr is seeking $6 million in damages for breach of contract and fraud. As for the De Hirschmeyer's family, we tried to reach their attorneys. They declined to comment on the pending lawsuit. Ben? Miguel, I think the $6 million question, why did she leave him out of her will? No one seems to know the answer, but Carr firmly believes that her family had something to do with it. All right, Miguel, thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> Election day, only 465 days away, so we figured we'd better get cracked.